yesterday showing us they can be competitive. They can get this team in working order. We'll see if they can actually strike first in the pistol. All five of the mice heading over towards the A ramp. And I'm going to be constantly focused on this vertigo, especially for the when and where you're making sound and when you're avoiding it. Given that Z axis, I want to kind of get my little vertigo boot camp on as to exactly when and where you need to strike. We do see that left side smoke. This is very typical pistol round. A lot of players charging up short side, looking to get that bomb down. And actually with Breno, who's already kicking up quite the fuss. There's three of them there, not anymore. There isn't a double kill instantly out of Exertion's Glock. And with Jim Fat there, getting that bomb down. Well, here we go then. The three versus two drop though encroaching towards the bomb site, trying to find a cheeky kill if possible, jumping up in the boxes themselves, but no one to be found. They've scampered away, tucked themselves in towards short, and it's Shui who's going to be taking first contact here. They've actually positioned themselves right towards that ram. Now, bear in mind, there is no oh. kit available, and now no drop. Just down to Saber in the three versus one. He's been detected, should be dealt with in due course. Takes a lot of damage on Rube, but hits an absolutely stunning shot there towards the sandbags. Maybe he has got something to say about this one. Time is of the essence, though, with no kit, as mentioned. he would have to kill him right here, right now. Not going to happen. And Miles do convert the pistol there. It was theirs all along, uh, but Shui definitely making things a little bit more complicated for them, as we see. Round two come through. MPR might be four spying into the second. And we spoke to Gob yesterday. He said one of their tendencies, they like to take these full ecos and maybe just buy a flashbang and four spy in the third on the CT side. Uh, we'll see if that comes through, Alex, because it looks to be more of the same. Right. As uh, $2,000 across the board. There's the one flashbang. So that is a great little tidbit from Gobby. If you're ever watching MIBR, they always take the full eco on the second. Yeah, and also just have a move, right? That was sure. how Gob described it. Just one plan, one one executed... Uh, little gimmick. Gimmick, exactly. Well, the CZ and a flash, that can get you far. And here it comes. Exertion is ready <clears> to farm. He's expecting a lot of bodies here. And already, nice pre-aim onto drop. Catches him as he rounds the corner. And just like that, it seems to be cleaned up nicely by Maus. The SMG just getting the one, but the rifle's doing the dirty work. Well, there was some, some sort of gimmick there, wasn't there? A little stack towards the ramp. A flashbang went over. They only get one kill, but they're buying up regardless going forward. MIBR now with the rifles in hand. They have certainly been impressive this tournament. Uh, Insani and Safe, the names that are leaping off the page, especially the former. Insani's been so good. He really has. He's been sensational. Uh, and especially when you consider uh, the interview we had with Maus yesterday. Torji uh, on the couch with Exertion and just talking about how much they're looking forward to the rematch. Revenge, a bit of a grudge match here. MIR. There was something to it, wasn't there? Right? They <laughs> yeah. didn't want to say exactly why they were looking forward to it, but they said they were looking forward to this rematch and they're looking to prove their worth here at EPL. After taking down Heroic 2-0 and zero yesterday as well, uh, they're certainly starting to turn heads here, to say the very least, as we get into what is the first gun round. A compromised one, I assume. If you see Mouse Wards here with just the couple of glills, make it three of them. And for now, waiting for any sort of CT aggression and drop. He's got this lovely setup, the deep smoke in towards the B steps, push them right back in towards A. It's a ton of control, but we're quite early on the round. He could give that up. It's going to be really interested to see which MIBR we get today. What are uh, the options? Well, the last two options, or well, last two games they've had on Vertigo really didn't go to plan. Maus are the only team they've been on Vertigo here at Pro League. The yeah. rest, Monty and Enns making, I would say, light work. It did go into overtime for Enns, but either way, MIBR thrown around the server by Monty and Insani starts off <clears throat> he means to go on. Good find. He uses a set of three versus two. They lined up in a team kill. So exertion. He'll take he'll take that any day of the week. It's said Jim Fad up for something. But behind the sandbags, a deep clear required of the young Finn. The bomb's within his grasp, but will he clear this hand? Bats, he will! Exit caught staring at him, and he's got spots the shoulder as well. Yep, oh. bat with the clutch, just like that. Ice cold from the Finn, lovely stuff. Two versus one, like he said, if he had the presence of mind, the awareness to check the sandbags, he could be onto something. Definitely gives it a second look, converts the spray. Has the awareness as well to find that second player towards the elevators. Really nice clutch coming out from Jim Fat here. He has had some great performances and he's yet to die as he goes five and zero. Speaking of which, at three rounds in the trot for Mouse Sports, they've got a massive lead now and should be looking to extend it in round number four. And they're just up against these upgraded pistols. A couple of sets of Kevlar and Chewy leading the charge here towards the B steps. Drop will swap them but can do nothing about it. He's only got the 5-7 in hand as we see some mid-aggression coming from the CT. He's frozen though, conservatively peels off. He knows he's alone here, there's no trade potential. Just let them have that basic mid-control and hold on to your rifle. Chewy leading front of the charge towards B. Yeah, he's playing well. Five kills to his name, three rounds in. 
Looking to continue with the momentum, and he delivers on that promise. Drop will go down, but a nice shot from Exit with that P250. Can't celebrate for too long. Jim Fat back to his old tricks here. Great shot, and that might be the run in itself. The smokes are down. The bombsite control is found, but the USP doing some work out. Yeah, that is a little bit of alarming to see Safe's USP connecting after that P250 of Exit. And you can see Breno is cooking up a flank. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated than it once was. If Frozen does go down here to Breno's Deagle, they could be onto something. The bomb is yet to be planted and the timing couldn't be worse for Frozen. The moment he averts his gaze, the Deagle will strike, thankfully. It whistles by, and now they're aware of the presence. The bomb has been planted, and that should be it. Final opportunity here for Breno. His teammates starting to drop. Oof. And we will see the advantage given over to MIBR. How has this happened? Torji in the clutch. He's got to close this one. Recover it. In the anti-eco. They've lost it. Maus disrupted. And MIBR destroy. It started so well. Walking into the site. Sure, exit gets one. And then it's safe with that USP. Breno the closer. The USP. On the B bomb side, yeah. doing the heavy yeah. lifting here. It's safe. Swatting behind the gird up, takes down Jim Fat, and then the Desert Eagle finally lands the shot. Gets a couple as Torji gets a face full of Deagle as well. And we're going to round number five here. Mouse Sports on the back foot now. MIBR will have a very strong buy. Bear in mind, that was pretty much the full eco. Uh, so Deagles, no Kevlar. Uh, they're going to have a ton of cash going forward here as they operate with the AWP in the hands of Safe. He's got a residual $4,600 available to him. Not the same story for Mouse by any stretch as they enter with basic utility, a couple of Galils and three AKs. We see a bit of aggression here from MIBR starting to get warmed up. Starting to feel themselves as they take control of the A-Ramp. Yeah, Breno feeling himself for sure. Walking on down, the flash designed for that. You can see, they're trying to flush them out right now. Stifling utility, smoke the bridge, Molotov the box, and allow Breno to see if he can find a pick. But he does give off a sound cue there. The tick of the Molotov dissuades him, thinks better of it. I think that's the, the better call here. They were certainly aware of his presence. Passive stance now for Insani. Yeah, very. Hoping that spotting him and him throwing that smoke might cause them to overlook Breno. Good sound bait. Smoke out. Now this is where Breno could activate. No one's ready. Black to Daisy call around the corner. MIBR, a brilliant part way to manufacture an opening. And there could be a second here. Using that one way is Insani. Oh my god, it's so close. He's being very disciplined here. Spots a couple, doesn't fire a bullet just yet, but Mouse Sports have done well. Taking down Breno, the star of the previous round. They've equalized the situation, but time is of the essence, Alex. They've got 30 seconds. And in terms of utility, two smokes still on Molotov. It would be a, a very basic approach to the bomb site, and uh, they probably know they need another pick here. And that might come through, but safe in a prime position. We'll find exertion and commit the other Mouse players in towards the A ramp here. He's sticking around. He wants more. Despite being noted, he's got support in Insani. And that's frozen now with only eight seconds. His round is done. Unless he could find two kills, it will find the AWP at least. But MIBR, they do string together two consecutive after the eco victory. This one, hard fought for. But I love that little sequence on ramp. It was, you know, it had multiple layers to it. Yeah, you're, you're certainly right there, suggesting you've got the passive set up with the player holding the smoke, spotting the pixel gap, dropping back, and then, yeah, yeah, perfect setup. AK-47 mowing them down, and uh, Mouse Sports don't even get a plant. But what have we got here? The saved AWP from the previous round. Give him the Torji. He's going to get himself some Kevlar at the very least and go for the B pick, and he might be onto something. Grenade throw down. Follow up with the incendiary as well, but uh, I'll just see... If anyone oversteps the mark, thinking he might be better off towards the A side of the map here. It's Breno once again. Smoke in hand. Trying to lock them out. Buy some time. <laughs> Torji slipped off the head there. It was an attempt, and he actually converts the kill in an impressive manner. That's going to be the opening frag. And now they've got a double orb set up on a full eco, essentially, here. Now, this is a bit goofy. We'll see what they can do with it. They have... Basically, no grenades whatsoever. They just have to work these picks. And in response, MIBR setting up the two-man boost here. Now you can see this is very potent. Often checked, but with the Glocks, which will probably be sending in first, uh, even if they did check it, they wouldn't have much to say. So, mm. 50 seconds, back towards B we go, sending the cannon fodder. 
That's exertion frozen and Jim Fatson will see if they can avert the crosshairs, allow the orbs to pick. Just flash and fight, they do find Torji, so drop a forward position from him, but he gets information and friction, and they are trying to force the issue. They are trying to force the fight. One from drop, make it three, as he sprays them all down. Torji's orb still firing. Second kill now from the Orpa. A bomb plant would go a long way, and it looks like it's going to go down. Great Hang work on. from Exertion Zorp. Hold on. Could this be another eco victory? Amal's equalizing as they make it four to two. <laughs> Anything you can do, Mao's can do too. Oh my, you don't see that too often. A full eco of the Sade WP. The first pick you find is your rival sniper. Then you have two orbs to operate with in towards that B bomb side. It comes right down to the wire, but it is Mouse Boards picking up their fourth, and it all started here. It's safe, giving his life up here, but Torji. He's had a great performance so far, so is Exertion, to be fair. They're the big names you want delivering in that sort of round, and they will take the lead and force MIBR onto another eco here. Now, they managed to win one before, but Torji continues his good form, takes down drop towards the B site, and that's an excellent pick to find so early on as well. You know the CTs have to respond. They'll have to give up their hidey holes, and for now, it's towards the A ramp. The Molotovs are deployed, and we've got Exertion hungry for frags here at the A ramp. Utility to protect him from the short position, and safe. He'll have to peel off. Now sports with full control here. Yeah, not so much fun holding gap without the AWP, is it? He's got the CZ-75. Not going to get him particularly far. Mouse has cleared it out now and actually sending Exertion forward. Maybe he's just going to have a little sniff and a frag, a spray into safe. Making a nice short work of this one. A nice fifth round for Mouse. No complaints. There might be some complaints if Exit finds the 1D, but it looks like it's all under control. He'll be scampering away. Torch, you need to be careful, but uh, he absolutely nails the shot once again. A very clean round there for Mouse. Five players surviving, and they'll keep the AWP in hand. And we've got the first time out. A chance for us to catch our breath. Reflect on what we've seen so far, Al. A rematch. Mouse Sports off to the races here. Bear in mind, like we said, they actually opened up with Vertigo before, and it was an absolute blowout. MIBR took the map 16 to 9. They got 10 rounds on their T side. Mouse Sports on track right now to replicate that sort of performance. And uh, they've been getting better and better each game, it seems. If you, if you haven't been following the journey, you haven't seen all the Mouse Sports games, they opened against MIBR, the rematch, as we mentioned. Lost 2-1. Move on to Eagle Geniuses, which you would probably consider them the favorites. Uh, they got 2-0 there, but against Heroic, a really exciting game. Down to the wire, managed to beat them as well, 2-0. And, and now people are starting to pay attention. This new look, Mouse roster, is uh, starting to find the result. They've been putting in the hard work. They consider themselves a bit of a family. They've got good vibes. And uh, we'll see if those vibes could continue as uh, we get to round number eight. Another full buy from MIBR, but no safe AWP and lacking helmets as well. A few concessions to be made, but uh, certainly a serviceable round here. Molotov's deployed, and that's to be safe locked into the corner, but he has got backup as MIBR focused towards the speed side of the map. That they do. Mouse, however, are going to test this boost. Trying it again. It's yet to be really revealed, right? So yeah. still has that element of surprise. See how the flight parts of Mounds interact with this. There you go. Torji's been caught out. Nice find. And in response, Shui starts to probe up the ramp. I'm going to swing from short at the same time. This is a good way to force some fights, but it's still Exit that delivers MIBR. Looking fierce now. Exertion makes a meal of the find on Insani. Allows him to find at least the one. Now a heavy advantage for MIBR. They've got three bodies already in the dirt. Frozen trying to take some space, and there is an opportunity. This is the only way they can recover this round if Frozen goes for the ultimate. Backstab here, but drop one step ahead of him. Realize he got too quiet too quickly. And now Yumfat left alone on the A site. He has had a hell of a tournament, to be fair. Not a hell of a round. As he does go down, it's a clean sweep. MIBR looking comfortable. Bear in mind, operating without the AWP. And uh, not all the utility you could ask for there. So that's a big one for them to win. Very early on in this first half. Have a look at the replay. That boost, as you mentioned, often overlooked. And it's, all you're going for is one frag there. Reposition, reset the round. And they deliver on all fronts. So this is the pick of MIBR. 5-3 down, but starting to find their footing on the CT side. This will be a very important round, indicative as to which direction we're going in. If Mouse give it up, they will be broken with no loss bonus. But Torji is not going down without a fight. 
anticipating the CT aggression at B steps, and he'd be right in thinking so, because Drop, mm. living up to his name, gets to the bottom of the B steps here, and it's that same smoke, that same setup, just to push them back and funnel them in towards positions like middle. He'll drop the smoke after that as well. Quite an early probe of mid. Forward B. I suppose rest. using this information, like, okay, we've lost B, we need to take territory elsewhere. Right? Right. They've committed numbers on this side of the map, we know we can at least have an advantage elsewhere. So middle certainly becoming a bit more fashionable in today's game of Mar uh, Mar Vertigo. And uh, we'll see if Shuri can exploit that as he has got a bit of a gap here, but they're checking it every so often, but not right now. Oh, it's an ugly spray and it leads them to two kills. Safe mops them up, exit now to close out the round. If he just gets one, it'll be enough, but unable to deliver. Four versus two once again, Torji and Jimpat looking to save the round, but Torji's been dinked in the process, down he goes. Yeah, what's Jimpat supposed to do now? With a teammate so low and actually you, with the bomb on his back. Would you say that kill for Shui was on a silver platter? It looked oh, like he at least had one there, right? Yeah, no. At no, least, at least one. one. It's a tough And it's one of those ones where you know if you'd just taken the half a second to tap. Yeah. But you would just... Uh, yeah, like it was an awkward angle. You couldn't quite see the head, right? But you yeah. definitely could have been more controlled with the spray. But you know that Shui's visualizing that drop position from CT. Yeah. Like, he's like, I know I need to get this quickly because I'm about to be exactly. swung. You're already kind of thinking about the second duel and sure. you end up messing up the first. Well, unfortunate, but uh, MIBR more than happy to oblige. I think I've done you a disservice as well with um, Yimpat. I called him Jimpat the first round, and uh, I believe he prefers Yimpat. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I knew it was a, more of a Yim. It's but, a uh, Yim, and it's a Pat. Yimpat. 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 Yeah, nice. I think so. From my understanding, that's, uh, that's where it's going. Well, um, that's where we're going to go. Yeah. We'll stay there, in that lane. That's the lane he That's prefers. That's the lane he prefers. I can't do BRNRN Azam. But um, we can do Breno. We can do Breno, and we can do Yimpat. Nice. That's fine. Well, yeah. oh. that's the housekeeping out the way. How's your Saturday going? Get in Twitch chat. Let us know. We're watching. We'll join in with the memes, the observations, the nicknames. All right, I've got anything the, you've got, really. I've got the internet men's up here. Be able to see the dialogue. This is continues. your pro league, ladies and gentlemen. Get involved. We're here for, what, three more weeks? Yeah, baby. So get comfy. This is uh, Group B. The dying stages of it. Three more games to go tomorrow. And then a couple of days off before Group C kicks back into action. But for now, round 10. Mouse Sports are all in. So after taking the time out, they're going to see if Torji can replicate his success found at Eco before. This time, a bit more firepower around him. Three Tech Nines and AK-47. Shui, full send and uh, completely removed his drop is looking quite good on that b side of the map that's an early five on four but bear in mind this round was built around the orb of torji but he has Ooh. been found out and taking a lot of damage exertion the booster down to 22. well they did it with the torji orb and glocks exactly but an ak tech nine to an orb seemed to have already hit a bit of a bump Losing Shui early. Already you can see there's a re-aggress towards a ramp. They're looking for answers in Sani and Breno. Look at their approach. They boost to clear close. That's nice. The impasse caught drop as well. That's the B player down. A deep angle. I haven't seen this one all too often, actually. MIBR. They are definitely kind of uh, making their own rules as well as playing by the uh, top 10 team fundamentals. Like, look at that angle. You are not pre-aiming that. It's a very good point. Let's see it Frozen. Oh, is he going for it? Oh. It dismounts. No sound cue there. And, well, Frozen seems to be more than happy to pick up a couple of kills. They just run into his corpse, so essentially. They had the perfect setup to kill him. Uh, just, uh, that's just the way Counter-Strike goes. That is Counter-Strike, isn't it? Just as soon as they move, the perfect power <laughs> position, gone. They give up two in such a clean fashion. It was a 45, well. wasn't it? It yeah. was. Well, you give him an inch, you'll take a mile, frozen. Puts them on ice. See what I did there? Oh, what? Because of water being exactly. frozen in ice? Exactly. <laughs> and some of the magic you can expect from this broadcast. <laughs> That's right. Got some of the world's best commentators. <laughs> and uh, Henry G as well. Four and one. <laughs> Ex <laughs> Exit is going to be left alone. Pushing towards middle. And uh, 
Just the M4 in hand and a bit of a fumble there. They got the opening pick. That was a five on four in favor of MRBR, right? They yeah. slowed the round down. They had the perfect setup. And what if, for whatever reason, they decided to dismount into the warm embrace of Mr. Frozen. Like, what what more could you dream of as a Tech 9 in a 4v5 disadvantage just having a close range two fight double swing True. right into your crosshair? So, it's, it's, uh, this is how it started, right? So Mao's got that pick and the rest just, yeah, it fell apart. Rapid. And good work from Mao's up to six already on this T side. Yumpat top of the scoreboard with exertion. It's kind of what you'd expect to see, what you'd hope to see. Torchy as well, been in good form, and he was the one that uh, was vocalized as being most excited for this affair. So we'll see what happens as the series continues to transpire. Zandi this time not going to be messing around with any silly business. No boosts. He's just going to try and fight. Always takes me back to the Naphany days where every time that smoke was down on ramp, Naphany would find himself just lurking around it. Forward position though, and it's up to Insani who is once again delivering mechanically. Yeah, he's so good. He's one of the most feared players in the tournament right now. Everyone I speak to is like, have you seen Insani? I don't want to play like a fight he's kind with of him. kind of insane. Like uh, let's hopefully not have to play against him. But again, as you mentioned, on the front foot. Playing aggressive down towards the bottom of the ramp, gets the kill, removes exertion from the equation. You can see Frozen, after not having mid control, is aware of the prospect of a player pushing in towards T spawn. Speaking of prospects, here's Yimpat. Yimpat, sorry. I think he doesn't mind either. Oh, okay. We can handle that then. We can freestyle. So he's boosted up, and the smokes are deployed. I, I guess this will have to be the commitment now. There's too much Ooh. thrown in, and drop will he be overlooked? Well, not quite, but not taken down either. He still has a lot of health, and his teammates arriving at the scene of the crime. Looks like Mouse Sports might be out of luck, especially now as the bomb has been dropped. Five versus one, Torshi. That'd be a hell of a clutch here, and maybe he's onto something. The first frag is his. Looks to reset the round and see whether any flanking players will jump into his scope. Yeah, left the bomb though. It's uh, going to be very, quite quickly discovered by MRBR and with 20 seconds left. Maybe safe got him here. Yep, lovely find. Good push, good awareness. MRBR trying to keep it competitive. A double out of exit as well. Good to see him hitting his shots. Leadership, heavy burden, especially when you want to focus on your cross there, but that radar just keeps on changing. And so, we'll see this clear from Yimpat. Like it was almost like a double take. He kind of yeah. he saw him, then. Like for a moment, looked away. Exactly, and uh, it's surprising he barely did any damage as well. But uh, either way, Mouse Sport's still in an okay position. It's another compromise buy. Uh, three pistols here, two rifles, one of which is Galil, and they're heading in towards what could be a faster A execution now. And Sadi has been having his wicked way with him. Same sort of Breno as well. Same position. Just trying to bait in the corner, suggests that no one's pushed down the scaffolding here. Now Sports is waiting for the smoke and they got to commit with grenades of their own. Once again, it's overlooked, but they pull back a couple of kills of their own. Exertion with the grenade. He's Insani in a very difficult spot now. He needs to find multiple kills! And does he ever? Delivering headshots of plenty with the AK-47. 6-6 six, six, as there might be our tie things up here. Just as we talk about that mechanical prowess, a demonstration uh, live yeah. and direct from Insani. Holds the ramp. You could see how uncomfortable it was. That position, many a, pl many a player would go down with nothing. And Sonny just takes them both. Look at this, 60 HP getting double swung from two different elevations. And he makes it look easy with a double headshot with that Kalashnikov. 6-6, yes. the number of not the beast, perhaps the animal. And Sonny certainly looking brutal. He really is. And he's got that confidence flowing through him right now. He knows he's up against uh, an eco round at this stage as well. So a chance to farm some frags. This is perfectly safe as well. You've got the rifle, especially the AK-47. You know they've got nothing. Just uh, set up the shooting gallery and start having some fun here. The incendiary to try and flush them out, force them into the fight. And a uh, bit of a gimme round for the Brazilians here. Should be absolutely fine. I'd be surprised if they even found a kill here. I think they would be too, this, from this rate. Torchy's still got his P250. That's about as exciting as it gets for him. There you go. Yimpat. Ah, he does set him up for the little summit. Summon Torchy's P250, the one. Safe's going to have to opt for the USP for the close here. And then with Breno's help, the round will come to its conclusion. All right, Shui. Come on now. We've all had a laugh. They've still got nades. You see that, really. ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, it's been quite a closely contested half here. I'm not minding this whatsoever. Bear in mind it was Mouse Sports are up five to two, but 
MIBR had a lot of four spies. They couldn't really clutch out. Now, since they found some resources, a bit of confidence, there's now players coming online here. Let's have a zoom in. That was the frag. Good lord. All right, exertion. Well, you might have only had a pistol, but still, a lovely shot all the same. And uh, Mouse Sports, a chance to coordinate themselves here. See if they can crack the code of round number 14. They don't have enough of the AWP. Not a big deal on the T side of Vertigo here. Got themselves six rounds. I would say if God B were to ask me what the bare minimum was, like a teacher yeah. in class, I would say, hmm, well, well, let me think about it. So I would say Henry. maybe <laughs> maybe seven. And you go, well, no, I would say six, Henry. Uh, seven's a good answer as well. And I was like, yep, fair yeah. enough. Sorry, you sir. Should be all right. yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> I do. I, I loved having God be on the day. He was the, He was my favorite by far. He has got great just, insights. He's always happy to oh, like, speak his mind yes. and not hold anything back. It's really cool. Yeah, precisely. I mean, actually, I was talking to a couple of players about that, how, you know, it's a learned skill yep. to be able to answer it honestly without saying too much that you're going to get yeah, in trouble. I'm always worried about the coaches and stuff. I, I want to ask yeah. about, what do you write on those pieces of paper? Like, what's going on there? Yeah. But uh, I guess you can't really say, but that's one I regret not asking him. True. But, uh, all right then, another opening frag. Yeah, just like that, just like 15 that. 15 kills are safe, where have they come from? Watch this as well, because Torji, he could be another added to the naughty list if you wanted to brave that smoke. Breno has thrown out a second as well, so you're just staring at a gray screen, or do you dare walk through it? Why would you get up on the smoke as well? Safe, racking up an opening kill. We'll check in with just how many he's had as they both connect on the ram side. MIBR, they're playing up to their usual form, it seems. Everyone delivering. 16th frag for safe. Yeah, let's have a look. <clears throat> How many of those were openings? Wrong cough button, sorry. Oh, yeah. I wonder. You have to reset. <laughs> I forgot we changed that set. I'm, I apologize. We'll. Uh, I didn't we'll even notice, that. to be honest. Um, but that's probably saying more about me. ASL Pro League. That's what I was looking at. What was I looking at? Here we are. Safe. Okay, five multi kill rounds and successful in three of the four opening duels he's taken part in. That's. Pretty good, isn't I it? I think it might be four even opening jewels just because the round timeline is a little delayed on uh, the score bot. But either way, yeah, this one's not nice. <laughs> slowed down. What are you up to here, lads? You got a four on two, 30 seconds. I guess you are just going to sit and spawn, really. That's Spend all you money. can do. Um, Three, third stage loss, 29. Yeah. So, yeah, you might as well hold on to the AKs and hopefully do something because this is round 15 coming up next. Bear in mind. So. No real option. Frozen, he had that one very impressive round. Uh, only got five kills to his name. Top frag out so far between Exertion and Yimpats. Ten kills apiece. Uh, but no one really setting the scoreboard ablaze like they are on the MBPR side. They've got a couple of players popping off. 12 for Breno. And uh, we've got 16 for safe. The AWP player looking very, very sharp indeed. The A bomb side seems like a bit of a, a fortress. As we've got, oh, what's this fire? We've got, it's not a royal flush, but we've got five AK 47s on the CT side. Yeah, we're going to be recapping that half. This is just safe. Where you want to, want to know where those 16 frags came from, Hank? It's, yeah, here's the answer. Do. Here There's it is. The double, actually, we remember that one very well. Oh, yeah, he's been a nuisance. Of course, a couple of eeks as well. Can't fault it. But a lot of impact from so, safe. This is the straight the flush. Royal, oh, wow. That was the orb, it's the royal flush. Straight flush, five AKs. So, we'll see if this is where the half comes crashing down. You don't see this too often, ladies and gentlemen. As a Counter-Strike fan, you should be excited for the CT. Oh. Ready and waiting to mow them down here. Breno continues his assault on the A-Ram, but Frozen answering back. They've taken so much damage on Rue. They are the walking wounded as they try and wall back in response. Breno fighting for his life, but they've done enough. Alex, look at the HP remaining. They might have four alive, but it barely makes up the HP of one healthy player. Yeah, that is an insane amount of damage. I've never seen someone go for that kind of push so early on the bridge they haven't even gotten across the bridge he's wall banging through the sliver gap and oh look what my. it did to them they're bleeding out bro hemorrhaging them out they need to find a little bit of one grenade potential. could kill all four of You're them right. like a perfectly oh placed God, grenade imagine. i kind of hope that happens is there a name no. there's not that would be one for the history books four man he well drop he might he might at least get a nice tasty spray down. Uh, that's a good point. That these are going to be the easiest kills he's ever found. They know it as well. One, two, three. And, uh, well, third one doesn't fancy it. I guess this one of the drowns. He's like, yeah, well, I don't right. want to give it to you for free. I know you're going to kill me eventually, but uh, you're going to have to work for it. But... Oh, unless you get so much of a distraction in middle that safe, ooh, just starting to maneuver the possibility of a elevator flank. So a good internal timer from safe. He's kind of backed up, aware of the potential for a gym to have walked on in. 
Does he clear him from the elevated position? There's no need to at this point. He needs to stop the plant. That's about it. Impact with a clear. Nice Hello. headshot. Hello. And Toji, he's hit another. They're going to get the bomb down. This can't be what. Mouse might find a seventh despite all of that hard work, all of that damage we'd highlighted. It seemed nigh on impossible. What? Exit now with no utility. A two on one against him. Smoked out. Time ticking away. And it's all down to Jim Pat finding that positioning, biding his time, and working the headshots towards the boosted position. I don't think there's anything Exit can do here. They've got two opportunities to deny that defuse. We'll see what they can make of it. Oh, there's a Molotov as well. Missed Molotov. Okay. Makes things a bit more complicated, but he can't defuse anyway. They've done it, Alex. They've done it. Mouse. They leave the half successful. A brutal one for MIBR to stomach, but it's a one round game, folks. It can go either which way. MIBR Mouse, second half, coming to you hot and direct after the break. Woo!
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching ESL Pro League. We're coming to you from the heart of the Mediterranean as we bring you MIBR versus Mouse Sports. It's the first map of this best of three. It's the lower bracket, not the last chance bracket. It's kind of mid-table, you know? No one goes home here, but still a lot on the line. MIBR currently lead eight to seven as they switch over to the T side here, and they look like they're entering with emphatic pace. Towards the A ramp, we go with four players. Utility deployed from T-Spawn. Flash is coming over quickly, and you know, these guys don't mess around. They're looking for fights, and Breno to lead the charge. He's had a Hell of a first half. Most definitely, Henry. At the end of this series, we will have someone else locked in for the playoffs. Question is, whom? Whomst? Whomst? Who will that be? <laughs> Bombs down, drop, gets it done, gets away, smokes will fade. Actually, Obster's tucking on the default box, so he'll be that first contact. Jakey and J Raz giving you the ones and twos. As Insani holds for the short contact, it favors MIBR in a 5 on 5 retake. Kit's available, but they've just lost Shuey. He had it. Exertion will scoop it up. Charging to take the gap, take control. Needs to keep pressure on that bomb as well. Breno does damage to Torji. Gooshed up. Nice headshot into Exertion, and they all run on down. Oh, dear. Glocks feast as MRBR secure a ninth. Well, what can you say about that one? Very convincing indeed. Called out a spawn set piece. Great flashbangs. Fantastic smoke coverage. Bomb planted in the five on five. Decent retake attempt there from Mouseberg. Got absolutely mowed down uh, without even getting close to the bomb. It's Breno continuing to show us what he's made of here, making a name for himself as uh, Insani will join in as well. And uh, in terms of the force buy, they've gone for the $500 buy. So not all in here on the second. This is going to leave some residual cash, but Desert Eagles P250s, and we'll see if they can make a, a, a slight dent against the rifles. And UMP, I've safe. You don't see wow. many UMPs these days, do you? You really don't. Like MP7 is slightly fashionable, flags of nuts, but yep. uh, not many UMPs these days. I don't even recognize that skin. It's quite nice. Plastique. Don't need to get my UMP out a few, few more times. Galil's probing B. And their setup is quite light on A as it currently stands. They've got two immediately uh, deep into the site. You've even got Frozen just playing for that mid hold, holding elevator for the A site, as well as holding any potential B mid splits. Here's Drop making it look very convincing, but I think you have to have a commitment behind this if you really want to keep the CTs busy. Well, three of them there, making four with the yeah. player providing the utility, but uh, they are going to peel off for now. 45 seconds on the clock. Transitioning over. You can see they're really focusing toward the A-RAM contact play at this stage. They still have a couple of smokes with a similar sort of execution we saw on the pistol. You can throw that from these sandbags here, also known as Xbox. And walking up the A ramp and indeed short. So, not the execution, this could be throwing utility on the fly. Molotov towards boost momentarily, you would assume, and the plant should come through. Bear in mind, the CTs were stacked towards B, so sure they've pushed that position, but can they actually do anything about this plant going down? They might just have to sacrifice the round, waiting for preemptive grenades. Nothing available for the CTs, and that's going to be the round. Uh, you, you might as well save at this point because you're not going to get anything else. Yeah. Be nice not to take as much, uh, avoid as much damage as possible. And have another go in this in the next. We get a unicorn round, I think, folks. We've had one so far yeah. um, by my calculations in EPL. That's just the one I commentated. There may have been more, yeah. but I'm going to say it anyway. Oh, yeah. One yeah. so far. And if you'd have said it with more conviction, I no know. One would have been <laughs> fine. No, fine. No one else is tracking it. No nope. one else cares. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do. And it's the second unicorn round of EPL season 18. Can that, you believe that it? Henry G is cast. That Henry G is cast. There might have been more. <laughs> <laughs> there may have been more, probably. But uh, it is a rare sight, and you love to see it. And uh, they'll get a second bite of the cherry here. Mouse Sports with the upgraded pistols. Kevlar, they'll get a, a flash or two to uh, accompany their bare bones setup. An HE for Frozen as well. He's only got six kills. A player you really like to see posting bigger numbers. But uh, for now, we'll have to make do. Like we said, upgraded pistols and Kevlar, though, should be able to cause a little bit of a ruckus. They'd expect a few kills from the likes of Mouse Wars. Good grenade. That's more like it. Big damage towards Exit, but he gets away with his life. We'll take Exertion down. And the same one way we saw before. Difficult to get. A ton of damage off of that P250 in hand. They're aware of the prospects of the one way and starting to spam now. Yeah, Torji's actually going to activate as well. 
Already in the disadvantage, you're hearing a little bit of uh, ruckus at the base of ramp. And it's Breno that's going to contain, or at least look to contain, the potential push. Saying that, the timing has worked wonderfully for this flank out of Torji. Impact. He's alone at the moment, frozen cheating back over the Torji, relaying this information rapidly. Might as well send the boys over. They are starting to rotate. You can see it on the radar right now. They've got three CTs uh -oh. lying in wait. They might as well focus on Torji now. That's the idea, but he's fell off quite nicely. There could be a few more twists and turns. I'm expecting a trade, but Insani handles it so well. There's the hat trick. And poor old Torji, they didn't know exactly where he is. We've got a bit of a bonus round, Alex. Now, it's not the full bonus round, but it's two Galils. And uh, you've got a nice buffer of rounds here. You could go for those faster set pieces, group up, try and overwhelm them when they're not fully equipped here, uh, especially a couple of players with our helmets as well. So we'll see what kind of methodology they're planning to deploy here in round number 19. Towards B, three players, Flash is going into it. It's going to be a faster paced round here, waiting for the response utility. There it is. But uh, it's actually not too overwhelming. They can maintain control here. Now they can, Henry. Control maintained. The impact is forward stance. And of course, both of the uh, teams, MIBR and Mouse, beat respectively. Monty and Heroic is the game coming up after this. I can't imagine how those two brands of Counter-Strike collide. You know, like That's a good point, actually. I didn't really think about that game coming in today, but now you've mentioned it. Heroic like seem to be playing themselves right now. Like the fact they're kind of like vocalizing their concerns and their inner feelings like on camera, which I haven't seen before. And they're kind of making jokes about it as well. Like even in those like camp interviews, like Katie was saying, Oh, we can't really beat anyone. It's like kind of a sort of joke, but it kinda of still like you there's something behind that. You don't seem fully confident in this team, but exertion that's quite confident himself, actually gets a lovely headshot to all those B steps. So should be able to reclaim that territory. But uh, yeah. Monty, Heroic, that's going to be a banger. Should be really interesting. I just want to see what happens when you put, yeah, Cadian and Demko in a studio right. together. <laughs> oh, yeah, good Start point. shouting at each other. Okay, that's going to be a lot of fun. Walking on in then. And a reminder, yeah, that Heroic was sent there by Mowers in 2-0 fashion. Absolutely. 2-0, what a, what a huge scalp. Mowers were really riding a huge high yesterday. Yeah. And, I, and I expected to see them carry it over into today. Well... It's never too late to arrive. Torchy will find the second kill of the round. Can't get the third, but uh, Frozen picking the pieces. Time to show some form now. That's more like it, David. As they get themselves a 4 and one advantage. Round over with only eight seconds of play remaining. No chance of finding the bomb. Gets the AK-47. Bear in mind, though, wasn't exactly the full gun round. Not quite a bonus either, but two Galils, three AKs. have got plenty of money going into the next one here. So... We've even got a save of that AK, and it will be Mouse Sports posting their first here in the second 3-1 overall. They take the first gun round, but they had a few advantages towards you on the AWP especially, and we'll see if Safe wants to answer back in kind. He has yet to purchase, and he does bring out the orb. Good grenades yet towards Yampert as uh, Impact. God, they, now you've corrected me. You it, I'm all over the place. Just call him Jim Jimfat. Jimfat's fine. Jimfat, Jimfat's fine? Jimfat's fine. I'll go with Jimfat. Jimfat it is. I'm all over the place. I'll take that one too. <clears throat> I'm definitely not the authority on player name. I just know that over the over the years, there are some some mispronunciations that get under people's grill. So if you are getting upset and you are, I don't know, his brother or something, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> but the, I believe <laughs> the player himself know. doesn't really care. No, I think you're probably right. Most of them don't. Most of them Most. say, "What sounds better?" Exactly. <laughs> That's usually their response. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. That's what the internet's done, isn't it? You know, we get concerned. On behalf of other people. That's actually, yeah. Uh, actually, I think he'd, accurate he'd point. like he'd like you to be said like this. I think he would like it yeah, if he well, did the way I want I you to do it. I think you should think about what you want, <laughs> not what he wants. Well then, MIBR, how do you answer back? What's the plan? A lot of presence towards B here, and exertion. Very aware of drop. Made his way up the steps, trying to lock him in. Teammates trying to. Rescue their lost comrade here, but Exertion's not giving up the ghost. Oh, Yimbad has, though. Now I'm thinking about it. Exertion gets another. Chewy. Only the one. They have access to the B side. If they can just get past Frozen and a one and done from him, leads to a 1v2. This is very tough for Torji with the AWP as well. The kit is available. Not particularly retrievable as he's already walked on past it. Yeah. A few of them 
on the bomb side at least, but uh, a very difficult precarious spot. Gives him his position now as well with the thrown incendiary. They don't know he's coming through. They just need to not peak, essentially, and that's what they've done. So well done to MRBR. They've bounced back. It's going to be 4-1 now. Torji will save the orb, presumably, as he gets a 9 foul, starts running towards elevators. Uh, they could hunt somewhat, but they won't find him. It's going to be 12-8 to eight here. And in terms of lost bonus on the CT side, could be a little bit problematic because they only get $2,400 on top of around, what, $1,000 on average. So uh, there will be a buy there, especially with the saved orb, but it could be do or die time now because MRBR are knocking on the door of the first map victory, 12-8. to eight. Does Torji have the same gloves as you? Are you you're a purple. No, bro. mine are uglier than those. Oh, I've but got like uh, really I've got like the, the the baby version. Okay. And I think th those are very nice though. Yeah, you got the full. He's like, got he's got a better set. purple setup than me. Yeah, that's what I should. What? I'm thinking of like just trading it all in, I just taking one thing. price and just starting from fresh because I hate my skins right now. Oh really? Yeah, I hate. I don't know why I went purple. <laughs> don't even like the color purple. <laughs> don't know what I was because doing. Because there was a lot of purple options. Wasn't yeah, there? I was like, oh, it'd be cool to have everything uniform. Yeah. But I like. I would have. should have just gone black and gold. Classic. Classic. That would have been good. It would have been good. Would have suited me more. Get but those now... golden ITB stickers. You know, the, yeah. knight, the oh. golden knight foil. Okay, yeah. It's exactly. Not bad. But now I'm stuck with those a lot of purple we skins. We're talking about. Yeah, very pretty. Is that like a sapphire as well? Very, very nice little karambit. Thank you for your confirmation. I love it when our OBS team uh, communicates in physical cues or camera wiggles, I don't believe is actually the technical term. But 12 already for MIBR. So this Vertigo has been a stubborn pick, a mainstay for MIBR here at the tournament. And look at this run boosting the orb. That's a cool way to get Torji set up. Push, set. Pushing! Yo! Oh, that's the Torji special! Hot off the presses, hot off the spawn. First blood drawn and drawn back. Someone had to step up there. My god, I didn't expect that push through the smoke <laughs> though. Nuts. Really cool. It's a shame they don't hold on to the advantage, but still the round not over. It might be now. Torji oversteps the mark, meets his maker as safe. Removes him from the round. Great start, but uh, could be a problematic finish here. And now you can see the CT reactions having to come forth as uh, pushing down the A ramp. Shui knows he has to find something here. Get a timing, slip the net, get behind enemy lines, and we'll see him continue the push. It's all really down to Shui. Like, he's got a ton of information here. That's enough. He can call for his own two teammates to wait on the B bomb site. We've seen this before, but presumably someone's going to be watching it, right? Surely. Someone right. aware of the flank. Right. Oh dear, Normally okay. It was exit last time. He's going for it. Oh, one, two, the multi-kill, the silencer as well. Shui has won them the round just like that. That is perfect timing on the flank. Exit trying to bail his team out, but it's not enough. And Shui's triple. That awareness to go so quickly to fill the void that Torji left has yeah. resulted in a round. Uh, MIBR didn't see it coming whatsoever. They were so tunnel vision on the execution. I think the conversation that time was who's got the grenade? Who's doing what? Right. You've got four players alive. You've got to work it out on the fly. I think they were agreed on that plan. Someone checked it just before they committed, but the timing couldn't have been better. New boy, Shui, stepping up on all fronts there. Three kills in the back. Saves the day and maybe saves the map as the money now is broken on the MIBR side. They're forced by with a couple of pistols, three rifles, and now he's feeling it, isn't it? He? He's really feeling it. Double kill to open things up maintaining that advantage safe does pull one back but it doesn't do a whole lot for them it's one of the key rifles removed from the equation drop still on that pistol and frozen with all the information that aram is potentially clear they need to confirm that scaffolding is the same story torji doing that right now just hunting for a bit more intel then they can start rotating once again torji as you can see confirms that stats and uh gotta go back up middle where they actually will need him exertion this is a strong spot it does get pre-fired, but uh, normally good for one, at the very least. He's got a reposition on top of Guardian. <clears throat> it. Oof, tagged up. Great flick out of Torji, and the nade wasn't far off the mark, but that's confirmation that he must have gotten away. If you just took a leg shot, HE finds nothing. They can have a pretty good estimation as to where you're heading. Okay, 45. You've got two smokes. A couple of flashes, a tech nine. One player very low. Hmm. What do you do here, boys? I don't think they'll be pushing you at T-Sport necessarily. So this could be a save. Yeah, looks to be the case. Uh, got a long 30 seconds ahead of us out. Yeah. What would you be doing if you weren't um, eSports casting? Could you ever see yourself on a job site like that? You know, just hang it, putting on your hard hat every day, going into the uh, into the construction <laughs> site, put pouring gravel, make some cement, making cement? I mean... Maybe. Actually. Yeah, now you, now you mentioned you know, it. Like no one, on your you just kind of just turn up, get the job done. 
you've got your focus for the day. Yeah. You're working in a team. Um, you, you, you're kind of making the world a better place. Camaraderie. You know? People need that stuff. Maybe that it, maybe that would be. I think it would be incredibly uh, rewarding, but also uh, I think our, our physicality, we, yeah. would, we don't stand a chance into the sense of like, what, once it gets to day five of physical labor back to back, you just, <laughs> I reckon we would just be shriveled up. We could up barely handle an esports broadcast. Yeah, exactly. We broke my ankle yesterday just yeah. jumping around on a game show. So what chance to we stand on a building side? Bloody hell. I'm, I'm no longer allowed to do any gymnastics in the studio. I think we should put as a general ban on them because yes. I do feel like I'm always involved. I'm always the root cause. Like I was involved in the, the Mac front yeah, flip, you the did. infamous Mac front flip. Um, imagine if we just like ruined the whole thing for him. Like day one, slips a disc, breaks his back or something, yeah. and it was all my fault. And then um, yes, of course, yesterday the lights incident. Uh, maybe we can get it on stream later. Get an instant replay just to remind the people what happened there. It was a great moment. I think a memorable one. Memorable, certainly. You know that feeling when you think you've, you've, you, well, you, you know you've done something wrong and your skin gets <laughs> all hot. You're assessing how bad the situation yeah, is, like, that sort oh, of God, vibe. Immediately, I could just feel, every, like my skin was covered in prickles. <laughs> like I had just I'd walked through a cactus. Well, it's quite a rare scenario that you're live on camera. Everyone's And I might have you. just killed my Thousands of bloody people are watching. Yeah, and my head was precariously oh. close to the coffee table. That would have been no. I should I should have pretended I was just like, unresponsive. I was, yeah, that's just like that boy. Go, oh yeah. Oh, no. Would have been that would have been Absolutely really funny. Not. <laughs> I should have just started immediately blaming you. What are you doing? Your center oh. of gravity's off, man. Come on, plant your feet. <laughs> Well, more fun and games to come here at Pro League. If you're new to the show, it's a bit more of a chill vibe, as you might have guessed from our conversations today. Uh, but we have game shows, quizzes, um, couch gymnastics, segments, gymnastics, whiteboards, uh, skits, buttons, uh, parodies of films. We've got it all, really. Skits, yeah, they are. They're cooking, I'll tell they you. They are cooking. There's a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. As we see Torsha, I thought he was about to take the shot. So excited, yeah. huh? I was ready for a, like, uh, a good yeah, segue into the round. He gets the shot. But uh, it is a quiet uh, affair here. Mouse Sports, just to know, are creeping their way back into it. Ten rounds now. Anyone's map. As Frozen will drop the all-important smoke here towards the Xbox. As we mentioned, it was MIBR to enter with quite a low buy. But they are fully invested. There's single Deagle, a couple of Tech Nines, and an AK for exit. And the CT seem very comfortable dropping yet another smoke here. It's a bit of a one-way. Frozen might be able to demonstrate that for you. There it is. You can see their little booties as they come around the corner. And uh, that's led them to a nice opening frag. Funneling them in towards B, and we've got the old... How many? How many? From Yam Yeah. <laughs> from who? Yam? Yam? Why is <laughs> Yam now? Oh. I don't know. I've lost it. That's my fault. All I can keep me. thinking about is Yam Pat. Yam Pat. Nice fit. Yimpat. Yimpat. Yam nice. fit. Yimpat. Yimpat. Yam fit. Emphatic. Yemphatic. Oh. Yim. It's the, I think it's the, the J. I'm having to do that manually in my head, yeah. turn it to a year. Yeah, me too. And then all of a sudden I go, yeah, yam fit. And it all goes wrong. It won't happen again. Yeah, okay. That's it now. We're done. <clears throat> Serious business. Now, MRBR have not spent much. We've seen $500 invested into a Tech 9 for drop. And another one on exit. Double flash. Let's see what you're doing. Where are you going? Up the ramp, it seems. Waiting for Shui and uh, Frozen this time to be forward and ready to eat those up. This could work well, actually, if they're out that sandbag position. Oh, the HG, though. It's exactly on the money. It forces them back. It does give them that space, but nothing to follow up on it. Oh, does he want to go forward? Frozen's acting like he wants to just go for a multi-kill. Here we go. Flash me, bro. Flash me. They turn it. Multiple bodies. He only gets the one, but there's Shui to ensure the round is theirs. So now he needs to try and protect that rifle. That would be a problem if it gets into enemy hands, and you can see them progressing closer and closer, making sure they can't get their mitts on it. And uh, we're tying things up. Mouseports doing God's work here in the second half. They were facing an incredible deficit. They were 4-1 down and now posting four rounds in a row. It's actually 4-4 in the second half as we go to a tactical timeout. You can hear the tone shifting here. It's the third used by MIBR. who are letting this game slip away on their map pick. Managed to win it in the first outing between these two teams. It was the opening match of the group for them. It was MIBR that won 2-1, to one, but managing to win Vertigo 16-8. to eight. They absolutely blew Mouse out of the water. This is the rematch they were looking for in the international squad. And so far, so good. Recovering the deficit, looking like a stronger team. The big names starting to come online now as well. Frozen starting to show some form. The impact, having some impact. 
and Shui leading by example, some great flanks, some good reads, repositioning the troops well. Their CT side is looking quite deadly right now. Four rounds in a row, we'll see if they can continue it and potentially steal the map away from MMPR. Their pick, the opener of this best of three in the mid bracket here at ESL Pro League. Yeah, an eight, seven, half, favored MIBR. Winning the pistol as well, getting themselves a nice juicy lead, but Mal's, they are resilient. We are going to be seeing a run boost again, so that Torji launch has taken place just to set him up and establish early control. Now, this could be a bit of a fake here. Strap in. You can see Insani was setting up for a fake of that short side smoke. And already throwing that one way under the boards. So they're trying to make that A defense feel under scrutiny as they pop out mid. Molly, good. Frag, better. Exit, down. Oh, Solid dead. defense so far. Has he passed the test? It looks like he has. Brado's forced away. Frozen's done so well there. Got a lot out of very little. Through the smoke, stays alive. Doesn't take too much damage. Dissuaded them from their mid push. And what's the next call? This Molly's perfect to stop towards you getting info ramp. No, it's not. Yeah, perfect's not the word. I mean, had it, <laughs> had it, had it landed. I, th I was about to say, yeah, you do have to have the window um, intact for this one to work. Chad told me that, but that yeah, might have been the smoke, right. not the monitor. I'm not sure. No, yeah, yeah. You always hear the glass break as yeah. they throw it, but I think he must have just whiffed it. Boffed it. <laughs> oh, that's not gone well for you, Pat. Exertion, though. Got himself a car full of opportunities. A real difficult jewel is drop. It's the one to separate him. From his head, Frozen pushing in for the finish, and just oh, like oh, that, oh, oh, oh. you can see the round looking very uncomfortable for safe. He's only got 20 seconds, and they're pushing towards B stairs. The bomb under their rule. Yeah, I don't I, see a world. I just no, there's just no time at this point. We're still walking forward. They've oh, got a flash, flash for him. Bang! Blind as a bat. Seven, six. Wow. Frozen secures it. He started that round well. Finishes even stronger. A triple kill from Frozen, who hasn't been, you know, required to, to be at the top of the scoreboard. But uh, Mao's now three away from taking MIBR's pick away. This is the Frozen first. You saw him getting it started for the squad in mid. And they wanted to try and pin, so they had two bodies behind exit. He was just the first prong. But sent away. MIBR needs to go back to the drawing board. Well, well, well. We've got a bit of a, a shoey package to look at, Alex. Should we uh, reflect on what we've seen from the big man, the man with the plan? Let's do that. And uh, see how he's got himself up to 18 kills so far. So, new boy, got a lot to prove. In-game leader returning to Mouse Sports as well. And he's had a great showing here. After a difficult first half, he actually got them back online with this particular play. That's injected a ton of finances and resources into the team. And since then, they've been all guns blazing. The in-game lead up, showing them how it's done. It's revitalized Frozen. Took him up to 14 kills now as he looks like every play has so much asser assertion behind it. And MIBR, final timeout has been called. And they will go for the half by here. It's serviceable. They've got a bit of utility, some firepower with Breno's AK as he tries to make his way up towards the scaffold. He's done pretty well. Flashbang coming in, though. Catches him fully. We'll have to peel off slightly. Yeah, especially with the Molotov as well. That's enough oh, to back it's away. It's a great combo, isn't it? The flash is to push him back. The Molotov to lock him out. He even takes a, a lick of damage there as well. And Frozen chomping at the bit to get stuck in once again with AK-47. Starting to inflict damage now. Ooh. Looking to mow them down. They're all lying in wait at the bottom as he helps himself to frag after frag. And that's another confirmed round here. Bear in mind it was the half by, but a very convincing finish here for Mouth Sports. Just wanted to get the round over and done with if possible. Shui will make light work of the penultimate fr frag, and now it's just Exit who waits at the bottom of the ramp with the bomb. Just hoping he can get one kill before it's all over. Yeah, nothing for Exit to be done here. You round that corner, you're a dead man, but they are bringing the fight to him. Lovely. Guns and a necessity of victory here for MIBR, otherwise it's going to slip through their fingers here on their pick. Now they have not posted a round in the last seven. So MIBR starting to fade away here. Now Sports said they wanted this rematch. They wanted to show them the better team and they dropped the ball in the first encounter. And so far so good, a rough first half, but this second has been very impressive to say the least. In towards B we go again. Drop. Leading with some pace here. Going for the quick boost. Frozen though. Got so much conviction behind his positioning of the A ramp.
Impact will open things up, finds drop, double Molotov in his position as he tries to clamber away. How does he get away without taking really any damage? Now they know he's there, but what can they really do about it? Yeah, with the two mollies is expended already. Yep, and he, he can just get back forward. in there. Really smart play, actually. That, however, is the opposite. Frozen concedes the advantage alone on the island of Sandbags. Gets brought down by save. So they've clawed it back level in a must-win round here. MIBR starting to set sail towards the first letter of the alphabet. Exertion, jiggle on the incendiary short. No rush here for the Brazilian side. And Sani starting to join the pack, gives up that space on B. But with the impact feeling the pressure, he's actually just smoked the stairs. So that's indicative that uh, he's expecting action. Two smokes will be used in the traditional manner, left and right at the bomb site. Flash is over. Great incendiary, though. That's seven seconds. They can't access short. They have to go up the ramp. That changes the game plan. It makes things awkward. Flashbang delivered is their oh. only chance, and Chewie's having none of it. Great opening shot. Exertion picking the pieces here. He's aware of the chance to play it towards short. Overworked. And now the fake plan leads them to another death. Breno oh. will have to step up and go clutch. Yeah, how though? For 10 seconds, he's just going to get overwhelmed. Overrun. Mouths pick up 15. It's Yimfat. We're three. Damn it. Yimpat. 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 To the bat. It's just a PH. My phonetical brain sees a PH exactly. and it's an F. It's always, it's only ever I been I think Yimpat sounds really cool. I mean, that's. I do too. I, I'm going to speak to him after this. Is there any way you can consider Yimpat? That's what we're all saying. Believe it or not, phonetics yeah, exactly. starts with a PH. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It really would help everyone out, including your brand potentially. Anyway, final round may be upon us. Okay, there's another week by. I've said that a lot this second half. Yeah. MIBR, like, always have questionable um, Two, approaches to the finances, I would say. A lot of force buys, and if it doesn't work out for them, the, you'll see a lot of these sort of rounds. MAC-10s, Tech-9s, AKs, and uh, it's must-win. There's no two ways about it. They have to convert this one to stay alive on their map pick. Smoking towards the left-hand side of Jenny's and right suggests his commitment. Nice. That will certainly confirm it. In fact, will go down and it's down to exertion. Needs multiple frags here. At least one and to stay alive. They're doing damage on Rube, but the bomb should be planted here. He'll need backup from his teammates. Yeah, it's going to be real tough retake. Got to have the God Flash here. Pulled and pinned by Torji. Waiting for the cue from his squad. Exertion postured by the generator. Might need a couple of flashbangs. They don't really have much. And in fact, it's only one on Torji. Boost is good, but that's even better from Shui. Takes down Breno on the boost. Now they flash. Now they push. Shui looking for info with 3 HP. Caught by drop on the double. And they do have to move quickly here. If they want to... Oh my god! Get them both down in one spray. It's good from Frozen. Still time is of the essence. Good from safe. Drop on the double. Needs a third. If they do rot the clock, get the frags. Torji's not committing to this one. And so MIBR. They do extend play. And pick up the first of the three compulsory rounds ahead of them. Well, that's quite something, isn't it? They've tried their luck towards that B side of the map time and time again, been locked out, couldn't find that opening pick. This time they get it. And sure, the retake was looking good, but that's all down to drop. Did you see how much time he burned behind the Tetris boxes there? Yeah. Just jiggling left and right, covering fire from his teammate at the steps as well. They couldn't do anything. They were hoping he would peak eventually, but nothing would come through. This moment here, making it so frustrating, annoying. He commits when he absolutely has to. The bomb's already too far gone, and MIBR back on their feet. Two more rounds would do it, but they've got to negate this full bomb of Mouse first, who are changing the stance. Aggression towards middle. Torji with the AWP, assisted by Exertion. Hunting for intel here. Exit, waiting. He anticipates this sort of play, but up against the orb, will it matter? He might just go down. The shot whistles by him. So now that's information. We know where the sniper is positioned. Now do they utilize this info? Do they continue their push towards A, knowing they can beat the sniper on the rotation? Time will tell. Time continues to tick. Full round control. First fight taken and frozen. Leaves safe on 2 HP, but MIBR, they've been given the gift of an opening kill. Another compulsory round. Opening kill starts things off, and with Shui forward position here, you would expect perhaps a flash is coming in. Util is for sure. Smoke on the sandbags. It Attracts him forward onto the one way. Their toes just not visible. 
looking quite nice from the Brazilians here. You they're can see all Mouse. Hidden. They're hoping exactly. It they're, they're hunting for Intel. He's getting nothing from it. Shui doesn't spot any of them. Four players tucked away at the bottom of the ramp here. It's down to Yimfa. What can he do? It's not the best spray. That might be the round in of itself. As we've got a five versus three here. They've got one last line of defense. The in-game leader, Shui, has to deliver. 20 seconds, trying to deny the plan. An incendiary to do just that from exertion. Needing the kills. They're going for this one. There's one more opportunity. They can stop the bomb now with 10 seconds remaining. They're going to throw everything they've got at it, Alex. I don't yeah. think it's enough. Spam! Drop! Maybe! No! No, he gets it down, but still hold on. The round is on. Shui's got two. It's on. He's low as well. But by extending the clock, getting that bomb down, surely drop has done enough. Kits are available. There's plenty of time here, and with low HP on Insani, he might just have to be the first to take that fight. If only they had a smoke, but the flash is pretty good. Might set him up. Eats the flash. Can't get the multi-kill. It's all onto one man. Exertion does not have the time for this. A second earlier on to drop, and this is a different round. And there it is, going into the final round of regulation. Well, they've done it. MIBR scraped together two rounds in a row. It's a very important one to pick up as well because Mouse are left broken. They will take the tactical timeout. They do have a buy available to them. Torchy was seven and a half thousand dollars. Thankfully, the saving grace here for the international squad is Breno taking matters into his own hands here. Brutalizing this A bomb site. Frag after frag and certainly showing some form of the Galil as well. It's been a scrappy return to form, but they've found it. Round 30, we've gone the full distance here on this rematch. And my BRDs need one more to reset the game and potentially bring it back in their favor. It's their pick. They've got all the advances they could ask for here in round number 30, and we'll see if they can convert. Two rounds in a row found. One more would do it. It's getting very tense in here now, Alex. Yeah, I'm out. One more opportunity before that lead they've managed to have. I mean, what was it? it was such a rush. Seven rounds in a row yeah. on their CT side. Eight in total so far. Can they tip the scales in their favor? Torji dispatched towards the B side to start. Ramp pressure applied. Shui thinks twice as Nade lands at his toes, operating at just half HP the rest of this round. Well, they managed to force him off with a flash and a jiggle. Just like that, P stairs now no longer occupied by Torji, forced away. Good Molly, look at that did to exit, but these B executions have been hit or miss from IBR. All in. Round number 30. There's no two options about it. They're gonna have to commit to this. They have no presence on the map elsewhere out. They have to go in on the biggest round yet. Who will find the first frag here? Smokes are down, Molotov's plays, no damage done on the CT side. Torchy holds strong, but he is flashed off finally. Yeah, uh, Yimpat gets nothing done on his B defense. Oh, and Torchy racks up. Let's three. go! Look at the multi-kill! Only two, make it one, and Sani in the clutch, otherwise this is Maus taking Mibber's pick, just like that! 30 rounds it takes, but Maus get their first taste of revenge in this head-to-head. -head. The playoffs one map away for Maus now. Gotta be happy with that one. Oh, absolutely. What a great game of Counter-Strike that was. It had absolutely everything. On the back foot for the first half, Mouseports had to dig deeper than ever. Finally